Okay, folks, this is Steve Curl. I am a watercolor painter, and today we are going to do a figure painting. We'll draft out what we're going to draw first, and then we'll paint it. Uh, my subject matter I'll be using is a photograph here of um, Teddy Roosevelt that I pulled up online. I've done a portrait of him before, but today we're going to be using a, uh, a full-length uh, body shot of him and his Rough Rider regalia, simply because it's I find it to be kind of an interesting picture. If you don't have a model to paint from, then it behooves you to find uh, a really interesting photograph to paint from. Because if you don't have a good source, no matter how beautifully you do your painting or, or try to copy from the source, if it's bad reference, then you've already put yourself at a disadvantage. Okay, so these are the things to consider. So we're going to get started here. I've got my my frame, and I'm just going to start with, I see I'm going to put his, I want to make sure that his hat's up here at the top, you know, and then I pick, make a tick mark down here where's where I want his feet to be. Sometimes I'll have my students uh, turn their drawings upside down or their imagery upside down. And as strange as that sounds, what it does is it forces them to look at shapes as opposed to drawing their idea of how something is supposed to look. What's happening here is Teddy's got his weight on his left leg, the right leg in this particular posture. So one thing you'll learn from observing the human form is that the head will always be over the place the leg or the position where the weight is distributed. We want to get as much of a likeness as we can, but since it's more of a, a body shot, I'm not going to get too concerned with trying to get too much detail in his face. Mostly <clears throat> what you're getting is these patterns of light and shadow on his face, as well as what you get on his body. So. I want to make sure I get those patterns. Essentially, he's being lit. I mean, this is a staged photograph. He's in front of a, it's a, it's a painted background. I mean, it's made to look like he's out in the wild or in some garden somewhere, um, which is typical of photographs of the time. Here he's in, he's in front of this stage set where they've got some trees and, you know, a very pastoral scene. And they unrolled it behind him and then set up lights and took the picture. So Teddy looks like he's really quite a uh, quite a, a dashing figure. Okay, and I, I generally leave the pencil lines in because I like my drawing. But if for some reason I didn't, <clears throat> you can come back in and pick those up with a kneaded eraser. And uh, But if your drawing is accurate... It's, um, I kind of like seeing a painting where um, I can uh, see how the artist drew it in his or her line quality. It's, uh, it, it can be quite aesthetic. Um, you know, a bigger, clearer photograph would be preferable, but for all intents and purposes, I pretty much um, got what I wanted, and we'll just let this dry, and I think that uh, this will be fine for a, a little study of uh, a figure, okay? So hope that helps you in your pursuit of uh, painting figures.